habits ask any cigarette smoker you know and he will tell you not to smoke if you ask him why he does not take his own advice he will possibly explain how the habit has fastened its grip on him just as the slimy tentacles of some devil fish will bind themselves around a victim struggling in the water until he is no longer able to escape a boy may being to smoke in a spirit of fun or possibly he thinks it is manly but more often it is because the other fellows are trying it too in the bible praise is given not to a strong man who taken a city but to the stronger man who ruleth his own spirit this stronger man is he who by discipline exercises a constant control over his thoughts his speech and his acts by the watchful exercise of virtue purity of heart and mind become habitual my teacher once gave our school an object lesson on habits which is worth repeating he called one of the boys to the platform and bound a tiny piece of thread around the boy's wrists he then told him to break it which the boy did very easily the teacher continued to bind more threads until he had so many stands that the boy could break them only with a great effort and finally he could not break them at all his hands were tied just so it with a habit the first second or 10th time it may be easy to break but we shall finally get so many tiny threads that our hands are tied we have acquired a habit the best support of character will always be found in habit which will prove either benign ruler or a cruel despot habit is men's best friend and worst enemy we may be its willing subject on the one hand or its servile slave on the other it may help us on the road to good or it may hurry us on the road to ruin evil habits must be conquered or they will conquer us and destroy our peace and happiness it is necessary to begin well or that system of conduct will soon assume the force of habit begin well and the habit of doing well with become quite easy an easy as the habit of doing badly pitch upon that course of life which is the most excellent and habit will render it the most delightful body language when we communicate with others we express our thoughts and feelings not only through the words we choose but also through our tone of voice facial expression and body language in fact many communication experts believe that far more information is communicated non verbal without words
then verbally with words body language is an important part of non verbal communication body language includes many different aspects of our everyday physical behavior the way we greet one another how we stand how we sit or walk the way we position our arms and legs or use our hands and eyes are some of the most basic to learn another language is more than just learning words and grammar it involves learning about another culture too we learn much of our own cultures body language before we learn to speak from the time we are children usually without even being aware of it and that body language varies from culture to culture so it's something to which second language learners should pay attention sometimes culture differences in appropriate body language can cause discomfort or misunderstanding too a common example of misunderstanding is the use of a smile in some asian cultures a smile can show embarrassment or apology however smiling back at a teacher who is unhappy with you or a stranger whose foot you accidentally stepped upon is probably not a good idea in most english speaking cultures also you should not assume that nodding your head means yes or that shaking your head means no or vice versa yes you can even get that wrong with potentially disastrous consequences just as you should not allow a fear of making language mistakes prevent you from speaking you should not be overly afraid of using inappropriate body language in an unfamiliar culture most people will understand that people from different cultures may not always use body language in the same ways all the same it's definitely advisable to learn as much as possible about the body language of a new culture and to use careful observation to avoid making any mistakes 